Hello and welcome to another tutorial here at Capo 10 Productions. Today we're going to be looking at Shallow by Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper from A Star Is Born. Guys, I just want to say thanks so much for all the support I've been getting. I mean, like six weeks ago I had zero subscribers or like four or something. And now I have like over 250 and yeah, thanks for the support. And this is my opportunity to give back. So let's get into it. So one of the most important things to know about this song is that it's all built around different chord shapes. So if you know your chords really well, this is going to be uh, pretty easy for you. And, and it starts off with this E minor 7th chord, which uh, normally you play like this. I just kind of keep it simple. I just play the notes that I'm holding down. And then D over F sharp to G. 2, 3, 4, and then to a C. With the melody going from the 1st fret to the 3rd fret. And then the bass line. And then G, D over F sharp with your little triplets. This is a cool part. Hammer on, pull off. Open, hammer on with your second finger, pull off with your second finger onto the third fret of the second string, and then it repeats. And then it'll go straight into the, the melody, which is uh, the, the vocal line. Da, 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 G. And then to a C major chord. To a G sharp over D and then your little twilly bits again Do -do 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 -do. the second time I, I varied it slightly just to make it sound a bit more interesting instead of da -da 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 -da, I did this little slide because I think that's what the vocal line is doing third fret sliding up to the fifth fret and then open and then back to this D over F sharp to G same thing C major D, and then yeah your triplet figure again pre-chorus E minor D over F sharp G2 with a hammer on and then C2 D over F sharp open B A and then to your C2 again One of the things that you'll notice occasionally I include in the tab is these uh, sort of arpeggiation figures where you roll the chord, which I think sounds really pretty. If you can't quite get that right, it doesn't matter. You can just play it, play the notes together or even strum them if you like. So here, the 3203, three, you kind of, I play the bass notes and then I roll with my right hand, index, middle, ring, or thumb, index, middle also works, but most of the time I'll just do index, middle, ring. And then D over F sharp. Cool. All right, and that kind of gets us started. Now we go into the chorus, which goes like this. Bar shape on the fifth fret, and then your pinky finger's picking up the eighth fret. Also rolling these chords. And then this kind of cool figure. Play that again. And then to uh, this higher shape, which is kind of interesting. So you're going to go here with your third finger and your first finger on the first finger on the seventh fret, third finger on the tenth fret, because you need your pinky available to pick up the ten. Seven, seven, ten. Your third finger is going to slide back one fret, and then second finger on the eighth fret, open, open, and then hammer on with your first finger on the seven, and then your second finger is going to be on the eight, and it's going to hammer on to the tenth fret. This part's tricky, but it's repetitive, so it's cool. So let me play that again. Third finger, open, open, hammer on, whoops, hammer on. And then it repeats. And then the kind of post-chorus thing, which is very pretty. Um, this requires a little bit of stretching with your fingers. I have these enormous monster hands, so I get away with it quite easily. Um, but some people might struggle with this a bit. Open, second fret, and then your third finger and your pinky finger have to pick up the fifth fret. And then kind of a D major type thing here. I really like this um, double 
uh, hammer on. If you get this right, this is a, a pretty neat trick. Um, da, da, and then hammer on back to two. And then to a G major shape. And then it repeats. And then here, this is changes slightly, you'll go on the third frets and the fourth fret with your first and second finger, and then you'll slide up to the ninth and eighth fret, respectively, um, by keeping these fingers down, like this. Um, this one is really easy to overshoot or undershoot. It's easy to do something stupid like that, so you have to really keep an eye on the ninth fret and the eighth fret, know where you're going. this kind of harp arpeggio, descending harp arpeggio. I just use my ring finger and I play an E minor seventh chord. So an E minor with your pinky finger on the third fret of the second string and then you just strum down with your ring finger or just pull up like this, sorry. I think it sounds really pretty. The bridge is uh, an important part to include so I, I put it in. First finger on the second fret, third finger on the third fret, second finger on the second fret of the first string. And then you have the bass line going, which kind of gives this building effect, which is, um, I guess, the idea of the bridge. And then your pinky finger down onto the three, back to the two. So all together. Dum, 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 dum. And then a D two chord. So a D major chord without your second finger down. And then right up to the eighth fret with your second finger. Then the thumb moves to the open fifth string. Seven, eight, seven on the second string, and then you have this E major power chord. Twelve, eight, seven, full bar on the seventh fret. You can do this. There's other ways of doing it, but this is the easiest. And then bar, half bar on the seventh fret with the D going, and then this build up accents on the last notes. Then into the chorus of the percussion. It's essentially the same thing as the first chorus, but occasionally there's a bass note. I just substitute the bass note for the percussive part because it just takes it to the next level. You, you have the bridge, which is building up and getting louder and louder. You can't just go back to a chorus without having a little bit of little extra juice. So that's what the um, the little percussive part is for. Um, then it repeats, so it does the same thing. Then the last bit again, which is essentially the same as what I went through before. And yeah. It carries on. You can check out the uh, the tabs. Guys, thanks for tuning in and uh, I hope you have a great week.